buddy, how you doing? Craig from Meet Me Outside. I'm out on this beautiful morning. It's about 60 degrees, no humidity. And basically I'm out here to show you a couple, a little contraption that I picked up recently from my tarp, my ridge line, my continuous ridge line setup that is. Um, normally on my war bonnet hammocks, they have a continuous ridge line integrated into the, the ridge. And um, I use the attach, I'll show you in a minute, you know, a separate uh, line on each end to secure my tarp. On my Denema tarp, it doesn't have an integrated ridge line. So with using the continuous ridge line from Dutch where it comes with um, little prussic knots that you use. And traditionally, the, those are kind of a pain in the ass to be quite honest with you. And true to form, especially when they get wet and it's chilly out or a little cold, they're really a, a pain to use efficiently or at least for me anyway. So I researched other alternatives and if you're not aware with uh, hammock forums, it's a great forum online where you can find out pretty much anything you want regarding you know about hammocks uh, suspension hammocks tarps gear trips whatever you want it's an awesome website i encourage you to look into hammockforums.com you don't have to be a member to browse the the website but if you become a member which is free you can um you know see pictures and attachments and actually comment on other people's uh, uh articles and such but yeah it's a great resource for information anything to do with hammocks uh, it's, it's fabulous so anyway while i was browsing there looking for alternatives for the prussic knots on my continu continuous ridge line i stumbled across uh these little gadgets called uh from they're from nama gear they're called nama claws and um i ordered a couple and i have them out here today i've tried them out once before and they're just the cat's meow no more prussic knots for me Yeah, like I said, normally I just, with the continuous ridge line on my wool bonnet hammocks, uh, excuse me, tarps, they have this continuous ridge line, and I just tie, this is a stinger from Dutch wear, around a tree with this amps, small diameter amp steel. And, um, yeah, one of these on each end, it works great. I'm not worried about, um, I guess the reason why I went with the continuous ridge line with the Dyneema hammock is I had uh, read on hammock forums and saw a few videos regarding the stress that this does in this area of a Dyneema tarp. I've, saw, I've seen horror stories with um, this tearing out and delaminating and rendering it useless. So I didn't want that to happen on mine. So that's why I went with the uh, continuous ridge. So these are the um, Nama claws. They're just a little piece of stainless and there's a cam type function. Um, up inside there that locks the 1.75 ridge line in place. These are, they don't weigh hardly anything. They're pretty small. You can see about the size of my thumbnail. And um, yeah, they're just awesome. I just have a small loop of, uh, these are actually the, uh, the cordage that I got with this ridge line for the Prussix. I'm just using them to tie off the ends of my Dyneema tarp here. Um, but yeah, they work great. I'll. Uh, Pan back a little bit, you can see. So hopefully you can see that. So in order to, um, you can adjust the tarp pretty easy just by doing this. And all I'm doing is taking tension off this little cam here. This thing rotates up and down. And you can slide it like super easy. Wherever you want. And, and when you get to where you want, tight, tightness wise, see the way this bends up, puts a kink in that. And it locks it in. You, and you can't pull that. I mean, you can pull it all you want. It's not coming loose. And it's so easy to adjust. You just pull a little on your tarp. Adjust it where you want. And you're good to go. Super easy. For instance, if I wanted to move my tarp that way, six or eight inches, or either way. But for that way, for example... It's as easy as this. Boom, done. Doesn't get much uh, easier than that. So yeah, once again, on, on my Warbond hammocks with this continuous ridge line, I don't worry about 
trees swaying that much and tearing out my ridge because this is pretty, it's actually, you know, integral and structural in a sense. So I'm not worried about that so much at all with these, with my Warbonic uh, tarps. But with the Dyneema and using a continuous ridge line, because believe it or not, trees, those of you that know hammock wise, you can feel smaller diameter trees sway in the night. Um, and that sometimes apparently can put a lot of stress on the, at this point right here. If the, if you're tied directly to a, a single line on one end and the tree, the tree's moving slightly, that's putting a lot of stress right here. And I've seen photos, videos, and articles in hammock forms about these just shredding right here, just splitting out. I don't want that to happen. So with a continuous ridge line and you could use a uh, shock cord right here if you wanted to. I may add a loop there, I'm not really sure. But there's a lot of, this is pretty forgiving the way it is. It's, there's a lot that can move around and give it enough uh, integrity not to split out with a continuous ridge line. In my opinion, I am by no means an expert. I've been using hammocks for oh, going on 11 years now and I've tried a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, these little Nama claws are something I'm really excited to use, really excited about. What a great little idea. But actually, yeah, they, the continuous ridge line also keeps my um, spreader bars off from resting on the tarp itself. Although right now it's not, but uh, keeps the uh, bars from rubbing on the tarp. All right, so that's about it, folks. Um, beautiful day. I'm going to pack these up. The mosquitoes are killing me. And uh, I just want to show you those Nama claws from Nama outdoors.com check them out